Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad you're here to join me today. My name is Coach White, and we'll be talking about the new proposal to, for the NFL minority coaches and female coaches in the league. In the current NFL, you have 32 NFL teams. You have 28 Caucasian coaches and only three black coaches and one Hispanic coaches. You have zero female head coaches. You have zero minority GMs, and you have zero minority owners in the NFL today. This has been like this for the past 10 to 12 years throughout the league. The lack of diversity, the lack of minority head coach in the NFL, the lack of female coach in the NFL, the lack of minority female general managers, and the lack of minority and female management in the NFL is at an all-time low. Back in 2010, you had at least two GMs and one minority owner that owned 50% of the NFL teams. In today's league, you have zero minority owners and zero general manager in the league today. To interject change in the NFL, to interject a better method of hiring minority coaches, to interject a better method of hiring female coaches, to interject a method of hiring minority coaches and management, to interject a method of hiring women management, and also equality and cultures at the workplace. So in order to have a diverse workplace, you have to interject new ideas, new talent, new methods of bringing black minorities in, Hispanic minorities, and also female coaches as well. This is gonna make the league better as a whole and not just be one-sided for Caucasian coaches. The top five clubs that have minority coaches, the Carolina Panthers at 55%, the New York Jets at 52%, Pittsburgh Steelers at 50%, the Detroit Lions at 44%, and the New York Giants at 44.4%. The bottom half is the New York Jets, the New England Patriots, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the San Diego Chargers, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Washington Redskins football team. The top half are at 45% tile that has more minorities than the bottom half, which is at between 15 and 60% throughout the whole organization. The top half are giving minorities a better opportunity to grow within the organization. The bottom half are still stuck with only hiring Caucasians or people that they know by word of mouth. Implementing the policy. Implementing policy for each club to hire all cultures. Implementing fines for clubs that do not follow the rules. And also implementing time frame for each club that meet the criteria for minorities on a larger role or larger scale to have within the organization. Implementing unity in a better work environment. So when you have better unity, you have a better work environment because that lets everybody that looks like them have a better feel like they belong or have a purpose within the organization and not that they really don't matter within the club frame of mind. Also, so here we have a percentile of teams that do not have any minorities on their staff to begin with at all. So the Redskins, the Cowboys, the New England Patriots, and the Jets only have a small percentile below 5% that have minorities on their team or zero percentile that have female on their staff to begin with. Effectiveness in the league. Effectiveness will allow minority and equal opportunity. Effectiveness will also allow females an equal opportunity to coach. Effectiveness will also allow owners that all races can coach no matter what color you are or what ethnic background you're from. Solutions will bring all cultures, background, creeds, genders, and races together as one. So as an organization, you want to have different races, cultures, backgrounds to make the organization seem it's a nice working environment for all races, not just one race. Because when you have one-sided, if I'm the only minority in the workplace, I'm feeling that my voice doesn't really matter when we have club meetings, organization meetings, committee meetings. I feel like that my numbers don't speak in volume. I want to thank you guys for coming out and let me present myself for this 
proposal to change the leagues and maybe these ideas of this graph will show you guys how low the numbers are when it comes to minority coaches, female coaches as a whole throughout the league. Thanks a lot.